Welcome back to the Raps Interview Studio at the Sundance Film Festival 2016. I'm here with Katie Couric and Stephanie Sodig, who are here with their documentary, Under the Gun, looking at gun violence in this country. So very good timing for a documentary like this. Thanks for coming, first of all, to our studio. Nice Appreciate to it. see you, Sharon. Thank this you, is fun. Sharon. Yeah. Why, why did you pick this topic of all the topics? Katie, you cover everything, right? Well, you know, I think we, we, Stephanie and I worked together on a film called Fed Up, which tackled childhood obesity. And I think we tried to give a holistic, comprehensive look at an issue that has been in the news forever and that people kind of digest in bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. And following the lack of any kind of uh, legislative uh, accomplishment following Newtown, and I think right after the shooting in Isla Vista, I called Stephanie and I said, you know, I think that people need to better understand what's going on with gun violence, and not just the daily news event or the weekly shooting or the daily shooting in places like Chicago, but they needed to really understand it more fully. They needed to understand the NRA's role in this. They needed to understand what gun policy looked like. And they needed to understand the personal toll it took on families. You know, I think it's the ultimate compliment that people like Mark Kelly, who's been involved in this issue, and Mark and Gabby are two featured people in our documentary. But he said, you know, I learned things that I didn't know by watching this documentary. And so I think that's a real compliment that even people who are very uh, close to the issue are understanding it in a different way as a result of watching this. Mm -hmm. I've heard that there's you, you have some footage from that's never been seen before. What, what is that? We do. We have um, the footage from the Aurora Theater okay. um, that was just released after the trial of James Holmes. So mm -hmm. that's never been seen before. And it's really powerful because I think you can't truly imagine what it's like to be in that situation but I think we accomplished that of giving you a sense of what, what is, that is it feels someone's like. cell phone? Is it uh, security it's the cer camera? It's security cameras. I see. You have a day job yeah. <laughs> at yeah. Yahoo, and that is a platform that reaches a tremendous number of people. I'm wondering if you ever considered doing it sort of as a series on Yahoo as opposed to as a feature documentary. I think it works best as a, 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 an hour and 40 minute experience where you really get. A, a great understanding of the issue. You get really close to the characters who are profiled. I think it would lose some of its effectiveness. Having said that, we are talking about doing digital shorts because we couldn't include everything. Right. And there was a lot of terrific material that sadly had to end up on the cutting room floor. Right. And there are so many ancillary issues, whether you're talking about smart guns or you're talking about a guy running for Congress who quit his membership of the NRA. If you're talking mm -hmm. about all different aspects of, of of the gun issue. Thank you so much, Stephanie Sodig and Katie Couric for joining us at the RAPS interview studio. Good luck with your film. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Sharon.